Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi. Welcome to another vlog with me. I'm trying to vlog more frequently for you guys because you all said that you missed my like chatty vlogs. So here we are. I'm currently at work today in my clinic in Essex. Let me like show you guys a little bit of the front because I tried to show at the end of the last vlog and then my camera battery died. Um, but like when you first walk in, this is kind of the front bit. Um, this is like the waiting area and this is the outside bit. Um, I love it. I feel like I designed a lot of the stuff in here and I love like these like wooden beams that we have on the ceiling. I feel like it makes it look really like rustic and gives it still that kind of, I want to say village vibe, but village is the wrong word. Um, do you know what I mean? Like old school vibe. I feel like it still gives it that old school vibe and like a modern twist on old school, which I love. So it's my lunch break now. I'm gonna go and get some food. Um, it's been a busy morning. Someone walked by and I feel so embarrassed, uh, which was really fun. And I'm gonna go have some lunch. I've got an hour for lunch, which is good. I'm gonna bring you guys just to the outside bit where I go to buy lunch, just to show you what the town is like. So our Essex branch is actually in a town called Great Dunmo, which is so lovely and I really like I really like the people here, they're so friendly and welcoming and it's just such a nice area. It's quite close to Stansted for those of you guys wondering. So let's go and get me some lunch. avocado panini and I'm going to finish my book which matches my nails by the way guys I think I have one chapter left and I am obsessed this book is incredible I feel like every woman can relate to this book I've never read something so captivating and incredible and I just feel like Emily has outdone herself with this it's wonderful so good and sadly so much of it we can relate to but positively as well if that makes sense love it really can't put it down so i just got home i look appalling um okay sir i'm going to the supermarket to get some food i'm gonna make my family indonesian curry tonight i'm gonna make my family indonesian curry tonight so i'm gonna go buy the ingredients i'm sorry my dog is like wailing for attention <laughs> anyway, come along with me. Also, I finished Emrata's book. Incredible. Read it. My body. I feel like it's so much better than I even... I knew it was going to be good because I feel like she comes across quite a woke woman. But it was even better than I expected and she's a beautiful writer. So I really recommend it. I just got home and I'm going to make curry for my family tonight. I'm making an Indonesian, I don't want to butcher the name, but I think it's Red, Red Nang? Red Nang? I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'll show you the packaging. I've made it before for me and Sol. This curry is beautiful. Fingers crossed it's good because I'm making it for everyone. And I only made it for me and Sol last time and she loved it and I loved it, but maybe my dad won't like it because I don't know Iranian dads if you any of you have an Iranian dad you all know they're very particular and fussy with food so I just hope that he likes it but I think he will because he loves curries in general so yeah guys this is the final product we have the Indonesian rendang curry and some satay salad rice lentils Yum. Good morning. The lighting in my car is awful. I am outside my clinic in Essex. Well, not outside. Like this is the like car park where all the local like stores and stuff can park, and also like the apartment surrounding. Um, I'm about to go in and start my day. I wanted to go get myself a coffee. My morning ritual is usually to get like a coffee from a place called Midi's on my way to work because it's like when I drive to Essex, it's like you have to pass there and I love their coffee so much but today there was nowhere for me to park outside um, and it was raining so I was just like not in the mood to get out and park somewhere far so I'm gonna have to make myself an espresso inside 
which isn't the end of the world, don't get me wrong, but I just, you know, when you're just like, I just want a little something to spice up my morning, just a little midis coffee. So anyway, we're here, let's go to work. Rise and grind, people. It's also raining and I'm going away in a few weeks, so I'm very, very happy to be getting out of this scenario. long day at work i feel like i'm gonna start asking clients if they'll let me film a bit for my vlog as well because sometimes clients like give consent pics as well so maybe they'll give consent a video and i can show you guys i've had that before in harley street and um, so when i come to essex maybe i could do a bit more of that for you guys or even in harley street it does make a difference but if you guys just want to see a bit of what we do here in an aesthetics clinic i feel like it'll be good for you guys to kind of get that insight Today I had another BLT avocado sandwich guys, I'm really doing so bad, I've gained so much weight this winter and I feel like this happens to me every single year, I get really cold and bulk in winter, that's my excuse um, and then come summer I like lose the weight again, it's just, I feel like to be honest I feel like this must happen to everyone but yeah, the BLT avocado straight to my tummy and I had some more because prawn cocktail because you know they're the best ones Anyway, I'm gonna go home now. I have so much work to do when I get home and just organizing stuff. And I always seem to have a package arriving for me that I need to sort out and a package that I need to return of stuff that I just don't want slash don't wear slash ordered for something that didn't come on time. So I've got like five of those at home for me, which I have to sort out as well. And I just CBA, I wish someone else would do it for me. Another day, another dollar. I am off to the hospital for work. I'm working on the ward today, so my outfit is literally, this outfit which I bought for when I first started working, this coat transfers fluff. I don't know if you guys can see that scenario. I'm going in without makeup because I had my eyebrows threaded a few days ago, which I think I showed you guys, and I've just got a couple of spots, so I want my skin to, I want the flare to come down from that, so I just thought I'm gonna go without makeup. I don't actually mind going to work without makeup. I used to before hate it, um, but now I'm much more like open to it. But like not all the time. I, I want to make sure it's my choice and not because I'm being lazy. Does that make sense? Anyway, this coat is Zara, the whole outfit is Zara. Let's go to work. I have I have made myself a coffee and um, this evening I'm going to the gym with Sina. I just signed us up to a new gym yesterday. Um, it's actually the gym that we always used to go to, um, but in the past two years they've built a whole new spa there. So we stopped going literally right at COVID, um, which was lucky. And now we are gonna go back, start going back again because we switched to kind of like a different gym and doing workout classes. But this gym now has workout classes in it. So, um, it has like a whole range of like amazing workout classes in it. It is literally the best gym in our area. Um, so I'm excited and we'll talk about it with you more when we go, but let's just get going. Today is Saturday. I have the weekend off. I just went to a Pilates class. Guys, I'm not joking. I woke up and it was 9.50 and I thought that my Pilates class was at 10.30 and I looked at the schedule and it said 10.10. So I ran. Like, <laughs> I'm literally like the biggest hot mess ever. And I got there like two minutes late, but it was fine because it turns out the instructor was someone that I know. She's like the cousin of like a second cousin. Um, and the whole class was Iranian. Guys, this gym is so Iranian. I actually can't cope like as in I feel like I'm in Tehran like every room that I went in in the sauna there was a different conversation about Iran going on and what's going on in Iran right now and as in I yeah I love to embrace the Iranian side but there's no escaping it there's there's no privacy it's literally like Iran in this gym um so 
yeah, mental. Anyway, now my mum and I are gonna go for lunch, well, breakfast together, because I haven't had breakfast and I haven't hung out with my mum in ages. Lunch. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, and I wish I'd recorded this, because for the past 10 minutes, this woman has been shouting at Alexa. She did shooting off to you? Just, I said, Alexa, play one song for Amoin. <laughs> Alexa, quick, come on, play one song for Amoin. <laughs> and he wouldn't listen, well, Alexa, she wouldn't listen yes, to her. Yes, he did. She. Yesterday she did. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, Alexa, yes. mashallah. Any question I have, I'm lazy. I'm not going to uh, through my mobile. Just I call Alexa. Come on, help me. Alexa smart enough to be playing the Iranian tune, so I feel like she deserves some recognition. Dress and we're both wearing black tights. I'm wearing black boots. She's wearing black shoes. Oxfordy shoes. Yeah. So. And I forgot it's... earrings. Oh, I love earrings. Yeah. Yeah. It makes such a difference to your face. Little I gold earrings. Imagine until like... now, I haven't even. I never knew. By the way, you know my earrings? They're real gold. I didn't know. Where are they from? I don't know. <laughs> How do you know they're real gold? Because. I've been wearing them for months now and the colour has not even changed a bit. And then the other day I took them off. I think they're something mine. and I looked and I was like, oh my god, this is real gold. I think, I think someone got it as a present. No, I think they're mine. I think I got sent them from a brand. No. Are real sure? gold. Yeah. No. Anna Luisa has gold that doesn't tarnish. But it's got stamped. What do you mean it's Oh gold stamp. Yeah, I think someone got it for us as a present from Iran. <laughs> Standard. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. I can't remember. Probably my grandma's. It's another day, Can and you? we didn't make it to film yesterday. And it's currently 6:45, and we are just finishing our work. We were meant to wow, finish at five. 6:45. That's so true. And we were meant to finish at five. Um, but. Life is good, man. I also bumped into my friend from uni, Charles. We like literally started from first year together and you should have seen us. It was probably a very unprofessional moment because we saw each other and we were like, oh my God, in the middle of the ward. <laughs> like everyone around us was like, Thank how you. do they know each other? Shout Charles, if you watch this. It is Sunday morning. Well, not morning, it's like, I need to turn off my car. It's Sunday, like 12, and I am going to a class in my gym called, I think it's called Spirit, but basically it's meant to be yoga and Pilates mixed together. Also, I don't know why my voice sounds like this, probably because I'm tired as hell. <clears throat> but yeah, going to that and I will let you know if it's any good. Probably do a little bit of a run on the treadmill after, but my lungs are feeling the winter hit. You guys, that is why I've got my inhaler with me. I think that's probably what's made my voice sound weird because I just had to use it. Um, but I'm gonna be late if I keep talking, so I'm gonna head in there and let's see you in a minute. Today is possibly the gloomiest day in London I've seen, like, this whole year. Um, it's foggy. Can you see? It's just, it's foggy, it's gloomy, it's giving me stay at home and don't do anything vibes. Today, I have a personal training session at 4.30 and then I'm going to Barry class at 5.30 and then I'm going to reform a Pilates class at 6.30 in my gym. Because I just, A, wanna um, really get back into my fitness routine and B, I, some of the classes book out so fast and like this is the only Barry class for the whole week and it's the only reformer Pilates class that I can make for the whole week. So it's either go back to back or don't go. And neither of them are like super, super strenuous where you can't do anything after it. The personal training one will be, which is why I'm doing it first. 
um, just to like kind of get it out of the way. And then I've got a little break so I can go downstairs in the gym and like eat something and then come back up. So that's basically my plan. Um, but I'm gonna round off this vlog here. Before I go, I do want to talk to you guys again and just draw back attention to what is going on in Iran. I am not sorry if I am always banging on about it or if you see it on my Instagram. And you probably don't see it on my Instagram unless I post my normal life as well because I'm telling you guys, I think there's something really weird with the algorithm because whenever I only post about Iran, I literally get like a tenth of the views on my stories versus when I post my normal life and then something about Iran. Um, so I don't know what's going on there, but um, if anyone knows, please like explain in the comments. Regardless, there has been an absolute atrocious move where 239 members of the Iranian parliament have voted to have protesters, peaceful protesters, executed. Like, what, what planet are we on right now? A peaceful protester is being executed. Not one, not two, there are 14,000 people who have been locked up in the past 50 days for peaceful protesting. It's atrocious enough that they've been arrested and taken to prison for protesting, but now they're literally being killed. So please, just draw some attention to it, even if it's by talking about it. Like, you don't need to post anything or share anything if you don't want to. It does help a lot, but I don't feel like I should ever tell anyone how to do something, it's up to you, but just talk about it if you can. Just spread awareness. You know, it's people talking about it that gets conversations higher up happening. So thank you so much again for your support so far. And I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.